Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel, or to the channel if you're new here, into episode 10 of my Medieval Minecraft mod pack series. So I have finally fixed our uh, experience problem and I will show you what I've built to deal with that and all of the stuff I've done between episodes. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos, and let's get on with the fun. So, as you're going to notice, um, I still don't have a helmet, pants, or boots from the last episode because I wanted to go through our gear together and do that uh, in this episode so we could kind of see what is all there and all that stuff. But to counteract the enchanting thing, I spent a very, very, ugh, very long time dealing with villagers. Oh man, and you know how much I love trading with villagers, so let's go take a little look-see over here. So, I have enclosed them in a, in a little, I don't know, fenced off area here, just in case any of those raids happen, because the magnum torches don't stop any of the events or anything. I, I've made sure of that. Oh, there's some creepers over there. Huh? Why are there creepers over there? Oh, maybe there was like an event that I didn't realize like a creeper raid or something. All right, so I have gone through, as you can tell, the the villager population has grown over here. Thankfully, that's a mob catcher is a, a godsend, but uh, yeah, we have Depth Strider 2. Now, Depth Strider 2, listen, I rolled these villagers for so long. As soon as I saw Depth Strider 2, I gave up and I was like, you know what? I will just stack the books. I don't even care. Emeralds aren't gonna be a problem. So we have Depth Strider 2 here. You got respiration three for the helmets because I know that a lot of these like you only really need them once or twice but because of how often I'm feeling we're going to lose gear in the beginning I think it's good just to have all of them just to kind of stack it and um, have them available for when we do eventually lose all of that precious precious gear that we're probably gonna lose so we have respiration three looting three for the sword um and any other like dual wield swords or anything else that we get i know it's a bit expensive but again as i said i rolled them for so long i was just done i was over it <laughs> i probably would have had <laughs> excuse me looting earlier but unfortunately i was spacing out and i broke the um lectern as i saw looting three and i was just you know i don't even i'm ashamed i'm ashamed i uh, i'm ashamed <laughs> And these are the Fletchers. I'm probably going to get some more of those guys. And uh, we have Life Mending 3. I'm so excited we got that. Uh, we won't talk about what happened here. Um, let's move on. <laughs> got Aqua Affinity on this guy. Oh, man. Critical Hit 3 on this guy, which is amazing. That's the one that makes it so you don't have to jump crit most of the time or half the time or whatever the percentage is. We have Scavenger 3 on this guy, Aerial Affinity on this guy, Protection 3. I know Protection 3. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And we could go find more mushy mines and get Protection 8, but I have Protection 3. I'll stack the book to get Protection 4. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. As you can tell, I haven't really finished this guy. I, I don't know what I want to put on him. I think, I think I was going for... I don't remember. I don't remember. I was going for something on him. And yeah, so those are these guys. Now, I do have a little bit of updates for the other villagers. <clears throat> so these ones over here, I actually got some horticulturalists and I've got them trading for one emerald for one wheat seed. And because we do farm wheat for our burgers, we get tons of wheat seeds, which is why I made a composter little gadget over there. So um, now those wheat seeds are going to come in handy. We can trade with these guys. So one wheat seed for one emerald. That's amazing because we get so many wheat seeds. Um, oh. I think Lamb Dynamic Lights is turned on again. Hold on. There was an update to the pack, and uh, there we go. I could tell as soon as I walked near that block. Okay, we're good now. All right. So, yeah, we've got our horticulturalists here. That is, that is a mouthful. If my mom hadn't um, wanted to be a horticulturalist, I probably could not even say that word because I had to say it so much when I was younger. Uh, all right. So, now. Wait. I went to the wrong place. Hold on. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, it is really warm in here. My brain's melting. Okay, so these guys, I ended up rolling them to max to see, what are these tabs? What are these? There's a, there was an update and there's some things I don't recognize, but that's whatever, we'll deal with those later. So these guys I maxed out. I think a couple of them I did. I don't think, oh, I maxed out him too. Okay, I don't really have it marked what he has, but this guy has Boon of the Earth 3 and Aerial Affinity. We have Aerial Affinity at the other area, um, but this is the original one that I had. 
And, um, or the first one that I had, I should say. So yeah, we've got all these here. He's got aerial affinity and deep fry and stuff. And apparently 64 emeralds for air. <laughs> what? Was something removed? <laughs> something must have been removed. <laughs> 64 emeralds down from 98 for air. <laughs> Uh, sir? I think you may be, um... Yeah. What is that deal? What is that? What? What is What is that? Okay, so fortune 3 for 19 and knowledge 2, uh, knowledge of the ages 2 for 16. Again, we can stack to knowledge 3, which is good because I'm going to show you the thing that that's going to come in handy for in a moment here. But, uh, we've got that guy, and then this is the our efficiency 5 guy. He's also got collection, which I don't really care about. And this guy is our endless quiver for nine. And he has, oh, I, I forgot to, to uh, mark him too. So swirling three, chance to hit all en entities in a 1.5 block radius around the user. That's for 36, I don't really use that, but maybe one day we will. We got multi-shot, don't use that either. Oh, wait, hold on. Additional arrows in similar directions. Maybe I should use that. There's our cleric. This is our mending guy. He's also got deep fry and lure two, which doesn't really matter. And lucky explorer too. Now lucky explorer says there's a chance to spawn emeralds with every block explored. So I'm guessing it's kind of like boon of the earth, which gives you like emeralds and diamonds and those ore blocks when you're mining stone. So maybe that's what that is. I'll have to do a little test and see what that is exactly. And these guys over here, we've got Envale vale seven nature's blessing 16. So I didn't oh so nature's blessing three for 13 oh he, he lowered his prices okay so nature's blessing is good um you can use your hoe as bone meal so you don't have to go through bone meal on your crops which is awesome this is our unbreaking three guy he's got multi-shot as well and this is our vein mining for six guy he's got multi-shot as well and fast hands reduce charge time for guns and bows huh maybe we'll have to take a look into fast hands as well because that seems pretty cool Okay, so we're gonna have a sleep and then I'm gonna go and show you the interesting thing that I have done to fix our XP problem. So I remember what I was trying to trade with that other villager, the, the one that had no trades on him. I was trying to go for sharpness five because we have sharpness five on this from doing that uh, trade with the wandering trader and we got it off that sword, but I do not have the the energy to deal with that so we're just gonna hope that we find it somewhere because i am not dealing with that right now but i am gonna go and show you the thing that i built and i had mentioned it oops in one of the other episodes last episode or one of the episodes um that i was going to build it because it's what i'm most familiar with now there is a bit of an issue let's let this load so i made a mob farm it, this looks like just your standard kind of creeper farm, but this actually spawns like every mob possible except for endermen and spiders because there's trap doors up there. However, there are mobs from the graveyard called ghouls. Now, I could fix it by extending the height of the levels, but then endermen would spawn and then that would clog up the... Um, the, the whole thing basically so the ghouls unfortunately i don't know how to deal with them because they're like two and a half blocks tall and they don't fit past the trap doors from the, the first level to get down and fall down so i don't know how to deal with them unfortunately and you guys will notice if you do do this build that um uh there will be like the modded mobs that fall so they're not going to be one hit you'll have to hit them a bunch of times like the specialty creepers and the specialty skeletons and all that stuff but that's fine they can't see you so it's okay the ghouls are the only problem now i don't know how to deal with them if anybody has any ideas i i basically have to command kill them if i notice it's getting clogged up they don't spawn too often but if it does stop working as good as it works it definitely becomes a problem so you have to command kill them until you can figure out how to fix that you could put a magnum torch down and then just allow the only problem with that though is if you allow certain entities and all your other magnum torches are going to be affected so you can see here you can see there's a, a drowning zombie it's kind of flashing up there but yeah so um yeah that's the only issue with this other than that it is great for experience and items like you get a lot of these modded you get relics and stuff and uh if you use a normal uh, if you use a normal looting sword um 
you get all kinds of great loot. But I also have made a a, a sword here, a, a rap a rap rapier or whatever it's called. Um, and I got really lucky. I rolled legendary, so I was keeping that bad boy. But here you can see I put mending, unbreaking, knowledge of the ages, scavenger, which uh, I forgot to explain, makes the mobs roll their loot tables twice and looting three. So that gives a lot of experience because knowledge of the ages turns things into experience. Scavenger rolls for, you know, more loot, which turns it into more experience. It's great. It is so, so, so handy. I love it. Um, it's a bit wonky to use. It's kind of weird, but yeah, as you can see, like that's uh, kind of, I don't know. It, it feels like it doesn't do as good as a normal sword. I, I don't want to get rid of it because I got so lucky with the legendary. Hello? Why can't I hit these guys? See what I mean? Like, it's a bit wonky in terms of hitting. Like, if I was to use this... Oh, well, maybe not. What's going on? Whatever. Anyways, so you guys can see, that's how I've been getting all my levels. It's uh, incredible. Like, it works so well. Um, I will put the video that I followed for this particular build in the description box. I think it's from someone called Voltrox, I believe? I'll have to double check that, but wonderful build super easy to build and as you guys saw in the other episode i had so much cobblestone it's a bit ugly but all that cobblestone did not go to waste and i used ebony wood and some stone slabs here to kind of decorate it a bit but yeah it, it is super easy peasy to build like took me i don't know half an hour or so the only part that was really tedious was the trap doors up, up top because you had to place them in like a certain order and a certain pattern or whatever but other than that really really good but yeah that's that update so now we don't have to trade for a million emeralds for experience or trade sticks for experience so we've got this bad boy here and uh we will still use villagers for emeralds but as you can tell like this is look at all this stuff look at all this loot look at all this this is from me being here for like maybe 20 minutes or so it, it's crazy you get all these relics diamonds iron lapis because this is modded so you get look at all these drops like it's wild look at all the relics then of course if i use the knowledge sword um i don't think the knowledge of the ages and scavenger changes relics and stuff because i was still getting relics when i was using it so that's also good so you can basically have the best of both worlds there but yeah so let's, let's use this bad boy here whoa you see what I mean, though? Like, there's some modded mobs in here, but they can't see you, so you can just swing. Only problem is getting to these ones in the front. I can't get to them. I don't know what to do, and I don't want to look up, because... I can't... Why is it... Okay, well, I swear it works good, usually. I don't know what these guys are doing or what's happening here, but... Oh, there we go. Okay. Hello, hitboxes? What is... What is this hitbox? There we go. What in the world was that hitbox? Anyways, so yeah. Super good, super awesome. We'll definitely, oh, I did not mean to do that. We'll definitely uh, add the, the video I followed so you guys can build this as well. Oh man, whew, that was a, a I was panicking for a second and it was happening. Okay, so yeah, but you get a bunch of garbage and stuff too, so it's definitely good to have your little your little uh, bucket. Oh, you can't put quivers. That's the only thing you can't put in these buckets, which sucks, but that's okay. You can just empty them, take the stuff out. I don't think you can, yeah, even when it's not. Wow, oh, that sucks. I don't think there's trash cans in this either. No. Uh, garbage? <laughs> Garb. <laughs> okay, all right, so. The plan for today, other than showing you guys all of that stuff, is I want to go to the nether. I want to try to find Nightmare. Um, I forget what biome it spawns in, but I'll have to look that up really quickly. And I'd like to kind of just go explore. Now, I don't know if I'm strong enough for the nether. I might be, because we're just, just still like not strong enough. Mm, how do I say this? We were strong enough for those other dungeons that we did, but we're still not strong enough for like the really beefy guys. Um, and I'm scared the nether is going to really mess my world up, so to speak. But we're going to try because I really want nightmare. And I don't know if they come in different colors. 
if they do i mean i really want a purple flaming horse that would be so cool but like yeah we're, we're gonna go we're gonna try we're gonna see what we can do but we do have to deal with this gear issue now that experience isn't an issue i am going to take the enchants off of these because we did save that one efficiency or efficiency protection eight i would maybe i should maybe before we go to the nether we should try to find another mushy mine so we can get a couple more pieces of um protection eight now i don't know if the update changed that or not because i know i read in the notes that it changed a couple of drop things and loot in dungeon crates or boxes or whatever um yeah maybe we'll take the griffin out for a little spin try to find ourselves another mushy mine try to get a couple more pieces of protection eight uh because this pack should be a little bit better for dungeon spawns so yeah i think that's what we'll do let's look through the gear see what we've got put on the stuff from these two we're gonna pull this off with a book let's do this oh my god 27 Ooh. okay already down to 15 we're gonna go have to go and sit at our, our mob farm for a little bit um okay and then this one we're oh why did i put the book back take that off and then we're gonna have to oh I, oh i'm low on emeralds too okay okay hold on oh god i forgot it's not the button for this one oh I'm, <laughs> i'll be all right i'm adjusting to the different buttons from different packs okay Let's put this stuff away put that away I guess we'll take some of the seeds and go to the um the horticulturalists here i don't think i have any more seeds any more wheat seeds i do have a couple i may have to make some more horticulturalists though um because it seems like they run out of their trades very quickly so let's head over there and get some more emeralds Alrighty, so let's go trade with our horticulturalists and get some emeralds because we need to get some books for the gear. So, let's see what you got. Yeah, see how quickly it goes? Like, hmm. I don't know why this was suggested as trading. Like, it's the same with the beetroot seeds. It, it's one for one, but their trades run out so quickly. Okay, and I didn't bring books. Of course I did. All right, let's go back and get some books. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> some books. I guess we'll put our seeds away. I, I guess we'll stick with the, the Fletchers for now because I have to figure out uh, a, a steady way of getting stuff because, yeah, that's just a bit bonkers. Okay. Um, Actually, let's figure out the gear first. So, armor, brain. There we go. All right, so let's see. What do we have that we can use? So we've got some relics. Ooh, actually, let's go back to the mob farm and see what relics we picked up there as well. Let's see, because we might just stick to wearing relics and not combining it with gear, because I don't have any netherite. I don't have enough diamonds to make any decent gear. Let's grab these relics, these relics. Got some diamonds here we'll take. I'm too worried about all this other stuff right now. Oop, I missed a relic. Relics here. Um, grab that diamonds. Okay. Super happy to have that now, though. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, got a lot here. Okay, so we should have our ring still so this is ranged crit damage i don't really use my bow all that often though 250 wait this one's 250 ranged crit this one's 170 but it also gives armor mm. Ooh, melee crit damage yes that's a good one attack damage poison resistance okay this one is attack damage, 24% attack damage. 
heal amplification, poison resistance. Okay, we're going to take off the ranged crit for now, I think. And I think we're going to... Oh, oh, that's an oh, that's a necklace. Okay, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. So we we can put another ring on. Okay. So we'll put that ring on for the melee. Ooh, wither resistance though. That actually might be handy for since we're going into the Nether today. So we'll put that one on for now. Okay. And then this relic is ranged crit chance, poison resistance, spell crit chance, fire spell power. Okay, I don't really care about that. This one's 25% luckiness. Okay, so let's take a look at our other relics. If I can remember where I put them. So we'll just put these ones in here for now. And we'll take a look in the whole... Ooh, 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 this ring is really good. Um, mm, not for what we're doing today, I think. Okay. And if you don't know, you can hit shift and it'll compare to what you have in your uh, already, <laughs> wow, words. It'll compare to what you already have on. So let's see. Um, that wither one is definitely situational, so we can definitely change that out. Ooh, that's good poison. I wonder if you can combine. Um, I don't think you can. Okay, uh, <clears throat> this one has 3.9 poison, but it's got range damage. Dang it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, lifesteal. Ooh. 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 Um, I think we might actually take that one instead of the wither. Ooh, we'll bring the wither with us. If we keep getting withered too often, we'll switch them out. Where was I? Up here. Okay, so that's our rings. So now let's look at the necklaces. <clears throat> Attack damage. I don't care about that. That's mythical. Um, no. Attack damage, poison resistance. Ooh. Well, yeah, that's the one I was just looking at. Right, 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 right. Okay, no. We're good for now for those. So now let's look at the chests. Okay. Or actually the heads. So this one is heal amplification, lifesteal, ranged. Ooh, that has lifesteal. Okay. Okay, hold on. It's got ranged crit, though. Okay. Oh, this is like... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely feels like you're playing an RPG. Definitely. Um, <clears throat> ooh, this one's good. Oh, spell critical. Okay. Um, so far, this legendary one seems to be the best one. This has luck, dexterity, max health, lightning resistance. Okay, so we're going to keep, we're going to do this relic. Oh, I, I, I don't think you can add, let's double check if they change that in the patch notes. Let's just, oh, wait, there's a relic in here. Why do I have a relic in the armor one? Unacceptable. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So let's test this. Let's see if it's been fixed. No. So now you can't even add it. Like, it just won't let you do it. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So until that's fixed, I guess we'll just wear the relics. And then legs and boots. So <laughs> this, I want to see. I, I noticed when I was looking at the other. Oh, it doesn't. I was hoping it would give you the, like, the goofy, like, top hat look. Oh, it doesn't. That's so... Oh, man, that sucks. I wish it would. That'd be hilarious. Okay, so... <clears throat> let's see. And I apologize about my throat, and if I keep clearing my throat, um, I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, it's, it's a little rough today. So, let's see. Snow leggings. Oh, there's that Ender Defender helmet. Doesn't give me as good stats as the Relic does. I really hope they fix that, because that would be nice. Now, again, I could craft, like, I could use a diamond helmet and turn it. Do I? I don't think I have enough to make netherite, though. 
No, I don't. Yeah, so I'm going to wait until I can make another right helmet and then combine it because you can do it with crafted gear, so. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> I have another armor basket over here. Basket, box, chest, whatever. That's a robe. That's a helmet. Um. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay. Let's see. So shield of infinity boots. Armor toughness, max health, magic protection, armor. Oh, step height. Blech. Armor, armor toughness. I don't want to use any of these rune blaze ones because they seem to be very magic based. Wither boots. You think they get wither protection on these, you know? Luck, max health, 1% speed. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. I kind of like these shield of infinity boots though. Except for the step height, but whatever, I can deal with that. The belt. Is the belt like in the belt slot? No. Where's the belt? The belt goes on your feet? Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. And then we need leggings. Um. I don't know. I don't want to lose out on luck. Uh. Huh. Oh, three armor and attack damage. Armor, armor, toughness. Okay. So let's do the ev evocation pants. <clears throat> That seems to be the best ones we have so far. And then we've got the boots. So it's either going to be the Shield of Infinity boots or the Wither boots. Um, they have the same max health. These have better armor. They both have the same knockback resistance. I love that. The shield of infinity in no small part because it's infinitely cool. <laughs> I love that. Um, oh, you know what? Yeah, we'll do the, the, the shield of infinity boots because the step height is lower than the other ones. Okay. Okay, so now we need to enchant these. So I do have some enchants from trading with the villagers to get what I needed. I kind of want to put life mending on my chest. Consumes received healing to repair items. How does that work though? Like received healing, how so? Like when you eat and you heal? I don't know how that works. And I'm kind of nervous to put it onto my chest plate. <clears throat> Should we put it on one of these just to test to see how that works? Can you even put that with mending? That's the question. You can. Um, I, I need to do a little bit more research into life mending before I can effectively be comfortable with that. Oh, a lot of fast hands. Holy cow, we got a lot of fast hand ones. Oh, empty enchanted book. Let's see, what, what else do we have in here? Protection three, efficiency three, scavenger three, endless quiver, vein mining from all the trading. Whoa, a lot of vein mining. Boon of the earth, endless quiver, endless quiver. I don't know why. Oh, I know why, because I did, I, I maxed out those guys. That's why. Okay, respiration three. Um, What's echo? Oh, yeah. Aqua infinity. I don't think we have very many for the gear. Agency four, unbreaking three. I guess we can use that on breaking. Oh, no, I'll save that because it's got looting on it. Okay, so we need to go get some books. Now we also have to decide what we're going to put the protection for. Oh, that has to go on the boots. 
That has to go in the boots. Okay. I, I'm I'm a derp. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> 19. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. To the mob farm, I suppose. Oops. We shall go smack some zombies. Because I need... Oh man, I need, some, I need some levels. Um, I'm debating. Yeah, I guess I'll use the sword that's over there, or the rapier or whatever it's called. How much water do we have on us? Okay, this needs to be filled up. Okay, let's head over to the mob farm and do some schmacking. That's again. <laughs> Not the mob farm. Oops. Oh, that reach was insane. Oh, wait. I, I should just put on the gear. I'm not getting hit, so let's just put this on for now. What? This, what is this hitbox? What is this hitbox? Okay. What is going on with this hitbox? I swear it wasn't doing this when I tested it. Okay. Well, that's fun. Well, let's just wait for the mobs to spawn, I guess. Oh, and to do the command to kill the ghouls, you do kill at E and then the bracket and you do type equals graveyard and then uh, ghoul bracket again and there's no entity so there's nothing clogging it up right now but that's the that's the thing that you do i can show it on the screen here again that's the the command that you do again i don't know how else to deal with them um if anyone knows please tell me but yeah they get really frustrating because they'll clog up your mob form something fierce I think for the sake of this video, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way because for some reason that seems a little bit slow. I'm going to have to take a look at um, what's going on, unless I need to stand back here. Because they seem to be spawning pretty slowly, which is bizarre because that's not how this was when I was doing, like when I tested the mob farm. It was, they were crazy quick. So something seems to be a bit borketh. Nothing should have been because I didn't use any modded stuff. I only used ebony trapdoors and ladders, stone, cobblestone. Yeah, nothing should have been removed. So I'll definitely have to check to see what's going on because yeah, something is a, a little bit wonkified right now. We might have to go and do the levels the old-fashioned way just for the sake of the video. Unfortunately. There shouldn't be any light coming in either because I have it uh, double stacked up at the top so the light doesn't come through. But they do seem to spawn a lot quicker at night, which is weird because that shouldn't be the case. So I may have to go and check the light levels. I may have to like... Um, double stack the outside as well because yeah look at how much quicker they're spawning now that the, the sun's going away yeah i'm gonna have to do some tinkering yeah look at how much quicker that's going now look at it go Woo! much quicker such a beautiful sound. Now I think the ghouls only spawn at night, but I could be wrong. If I stand down here, I'm, I'm just like testing. So standing here seems to be good on this slab here. Oh, listen to all of them. Ooh, pretty. 
Oh, and we're over the ocean, but you can probably see that in the, the mini-map there. Definitely the best place to build a mob farm. I went over the deep ocean because it's close to... where am I? It's close to our other area, so I had to take the magnum torch away from there. But uh, yeah, very, very good spot to make your mob farm for sure. Make sure you're 128 blocks above the water, I think it is, that I did. Just 64 times 2. <laughs> Look at all that loot. Okay, so yeah, so Knowledge of the Ages doesn't work. Okay, so you know what I'm starting to think? Because Knowledge of the Ages usually works a lot better when it's all vanilla drops, but because there's so many modded drops, I think it's um it's not converting the XP as quickly as it should and as quickly as it usually does if you're used to Knowledge of the Ages because, again, it doesn't convert the modded drops into, into anything. It just does uh, vanilla drops. So if you're used to like how I'm used to Knowledge of the Ages of Scavenger being like I would have had probably like 40 levels or something maybe it's a bit exaggeration but I would have had a lot more levels by now but that's also because there's so many modded drops. Wait there's also stuff stuck in the hopper? Why is there stuff stuck in this hopper? In this hopper. Why? Why was there stuff stuck in the hopper? Huh. Weird. Anyone knows of like a better modded mob farm? Let me know. Yeah, see there's things getting stuck in the... In the hoppers. Okay, we're gonna go do this the old-fashioned way, because I'm not standing here doing this. Why do I have- oh, because there's a diamond sword in my inventory. I'm like, I'm so confused! Okay, let's go and get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna empty my bags, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so, we need to get this going. So, we're gonna go over to the Fletchers with some sticks, because that's gonna be the best thing for us right now. Just so we can get over to the Nether and look for Nightmare and all the other stuff that we were gonna do. We are going to do this because this is the, the, oh my gosh, I almost made those. This is the easy peasy lemon squeezy way that I know of for now. And I will have to do the mob farm and figure all the lighting out and all that jazz between episodes because I want to go find my magical horse. So, um, brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. Uh, we'll start with these guys. All right, we're going to head over to the other ones. I guess we can bring some seeds as well, because the um, horticulturalist will probably be restocked as well. So hold on. Let's grab some seeds. Finally, a use for seeds other than compost. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> I know it's a mess and eventually I have to find a place for my villagers, but... Okay! Lots of emeralds! Perfect, exactly what we wanted. Lots of levels. I don't I still don't think that's gonna be enough to put everything on our gear, but we are gonna go and trade with the guys to get mending and whatnot. So from what I remember we need mending for our pants. Oh, actually we need to put the stuff on our boots first. So hold on, let's go do that. Waystones are such a glorious thing, I love them. Okay, so boots, you, hear me, yes, 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 there we go. Perfect. And then we are going to do... So I guess we'll do protection eight... Mm. 
I guess we'll do protection aid on the pants. For now. Can you enchant rings? Oh, I guess I should check with them breaking. It probably would be smart. Not, <laughs> not that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go grab mending. So then we need one mending. And then two mending. And then two unbreaking. Probably gonna need more levels again. This is stuff that I, like I said, I would usually do between episodes, but I figured you could see the process. Oh gosh, those are boots for a second. I was like, what am I doing? Okay, good. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, we were putting the protection on there as well. Oops. 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 Oh my god, we need levels already. Blah. Okay. Do we have enough to do this? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Back to the villagers we go. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be an episode of me just being an absolute goob. I swear, we will get to the nether, I promise. Let's we'll see if the other guys have re-rolled. Definitely needs to make some more clerics too. For sure. All right, that's gonna have to do. I don't wanna do any more trading. I'll need to do it later. I wanna go find Nightmare. So what was I doing? Um, pants are good. You. Oh wait, no, the pants were, yes, okay. Go. Okay, you know what? I don't really care about those right now. We can do this later. As long as we have some armor on. <clears throat> That's good, because we are going to go build another portal. And we are going to head our butts over to the nether. And see how scary it is in this pack, because we haven't been in to the nether in this pack just yet, so... Um, we don't have an arrow, <clears throat> so. There we go, we got our water, we've got our food, we've got our wither ring, we've got some totems of undying. I'm gonna stock up on these really quickly, there we go. Um, I'm gonna bring two leads. I thought I had empty leads on me, I guess not. Oh, we, oh, and we can bring the griffin as well, because it can fly in there. Um, do I have saddles on me? I have three saddles on me. So let's bring three leads, just in case we find any other cute little animals. Cute, you know, maybe a nether bat or something, you know? Okay. <clears throat> and we need... We need obsidian. If I can remember. Do I have a box for obsidian? I do. So obsidian. Uh, how do you make a flint and steel? Oh my god, it's been so long. Is it one flint? Oh, that's silver. 
I can't remember. Yes, it is. Okay. There we go. Where can we put this portal so it's not going to drive me absolutely bonkers? Oh, our little buddy's in there. I'm sorry. You you stay with your 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 uh, blah, 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 axolotl friends. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm not going to go in because he's going to get out. But I renamed the axolotl that was Classic Britain to Sheldon, uh, uh, as per requested by Sheldon himself. So that is now Sheldon. So where should we? You know what? Maybe I'll put the portal over at the other villager area so it's not mucking up this area over here. So I can figure out how to make it nice and pretty. Oh, I need to sleep because there's no t magnum torch over here anymore. <clears throat> I don't want to put the villagers in trouble. I don't know what is going on with my throat today. It is hot, hot, hot here, so I think my throat's reacting to it for whatever reason. So, where can we put this nether portal? I kind of want to put it in the house. Oh, our old bed's here. Oh, the memories. Mm, yeah, it should be all right here. I'm gonna make it nice and big. Yeah, look at that big boy. Woo! <laughs> it's such a big one. I love it. Okay. Uh, there we go. Oh, no, I need that. I'm Oh, the shaders make the nether portals look so pretty. I may put the um, the vanilla tweaks thing on that silences it a little bit because it is a bit loud, but uh, we don't have any blocks. That's okay. We'll grab some nether rack. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. What kind of spawn are we going to get? Oh, this is terrifying. Hello. I'm in the void. Oh, okay, okay. I'm still in the void. Hello? Oh. Don't do that to me, game. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Who's that glowy guy? What are those? Whoa. What in the ever loving? What? What? What was it? Was that dude blowing? I, this pack terrifies me. What is that? What is this? Oh, end city. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put a magnum torch here. So I can just like catch my breath here and like catch my bearings because I am like I'm trying to take all of this in but I'm absolutely petrified. I'm just gonna stick that there. And we're gonna waystone here. We're gonna call it nether. Nether city. I just I need to catch my breath because like I was trying to process my locate like my my surroundings and like that that was... Oh, okay. Okay, let's process. First of all, I have never seen those mushrooms before. This is a small nether city, okay. I have never seen those mushrooms before. And I love when I can go into modded and see things I've never seen before because I mean, I've seen a, pretty much all of the world generation mods, like, Better ended, better nether, top tier will always be my favorite. Wow. Those are stunning. Okay. Now we can kind of get our breath and catch our catch our breath and get our bearings. There, that's what I wanted to say. Now, 
Nightmare spawns in Basalt Deltas and Sultan Valley. So we can use our nature's compass. Basalt Deltas, like so, start search. 652 that way. Okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> I'm actually genuinely terrified. <laughs> this is so scary. The nether, just, this pack in general is just crazy. Oh man, okay. I wanna go check out these mushrooms first. Why is there still a ghast? Oh. This is so cool. What is this stuff? Umbral hut from Cinderscapes. Okay, can't get distracted. We're on a mission. Assault Deltas. That thing's gonna screech at me in a second. Okay, that that's our safe zone. That that's our safe our safe spot. Oh 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 oh. Salt deltas. Okay, maybe maybe the Griffin whoop was a bad idea. Okay. I, oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, Griffin. Baby, you are too big for this place. I can't. I can't function with you in my my peripherals. Okay. Okay. How far does my magnum torch reach? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. How far does this say we are? 400. Oh, I should get some blocks. Um, I should have got some nether rack actually. There we go. There we go. We got some nether rack. Okay. So basalt deltas are this way. Oh, I need. To, oh my gosh, I need um soul speed or whatever that. You good? How you doing, bud? Yeah, good. Cool. All right. I'm terrified to do anything wrong in this pack. So just gonna dig our way over to hopefully where we can find nightmare because that is exactly why I'm here and I want my horse. Ooh, what's this? Emeraldite ore. Emeraldite shards. Oh, yeah, I guess turn an emerald makes sense. I know I'm being a little baby. Whoa, whoa, Jesus scared me. But I, oh, raw Midas gold. Gold! <laughs> Find Midas gold in the nether, which can forge any ore into gold. Hmm. I saying. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, I need to move that. That's, uh... Goobin with my brain here. Um, I'm not going to put it in the middle. Because there's always those name tags that are in the middle. So I'll put it, like, right there. There we go. Sorry if it bothers you if it's off center, but uh, I can't put it directly in the middle because those name tags show up in the middle, so. 340, okay. Can we see Nightmare on the... Horsey? I want a horsey. Oh, warp so soft. Blue. Wow! Cool! There's like a temple made out of... Whoa! That is so cool! I don't have wings. I have to remember that I don't have wings. Okay. Rio, you don't have wings. Ouch. Oh! That's a blaze! No, 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 no! I am friend! Look at all the purple and the pink and oh, I'm so happy. Apparently those light you on fire. 
How far are we? 256. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, wait. Is something lighting me on fire? Or is it a blaze shooting at me? I can't. I am so unbelievably terrified of the nether right now. You have no idea. I maybe should have made potions, but I don't even think I have enough to make potions. So much purple. I love it. Oh my god, I'm so terrified. All right, we have feather falling like a million, don't we? Yeah. Ooh, a geode. This is probably... Yes, that is quartz. I'm not too concerned about that right now. Is it these lighting me on fire? No, what was lighting me on fire? That blaze must have been shooting at me. This is freaking terrifying. Another in Mata doesn't usually scare me this much, but this pack scares the crud out of me. And there is an Enderman on fire. How far are we? 145. What's this? Molten pot. Okay. I just want a nightmare. All right, step height. Right, right, right. Oh, these little pots are cool. <gasps> oh, I didn't put um 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 what's it? Um end veil on my oh perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you. I didn't put some um, oh my god brain end veil on my helmet, so I need to be careful. Okay, so we're almost there. Avoid all the flames of doom. Oh god. This is gonna suck. Why did I choose this one? Why did I choose this one? I kind of want to find a soul sand valley. Because I don't think I'm going to find a horse. Oh, I see two. Now, those are usually modded mobs when they aren't shown as a picture. So I don't know if that's a firefly or if those are horses. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go Soul Sand Valley. Okay, that's 715 that way. Okay, we can do that later. For now, I wanna see if those were horses or if those were I don't think they are oh my god I hate the basalt deltas why did I come here why did I come here Nope, we're going to Soul Sand. Whoa. We're going to Soul Sand Valley, folks. Nope, 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 nope. Don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Put some of this stuff away. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Click, click, click. Clicking all the wrong spots. Okay. So, Soul Sand Valley, this way. A lot easier to navigate. Oh, we get to go near the pretty pink pastel stuff. Unless I'm just seeing things. It, look, it looks pinky purple from here. I mean, I guess I could use the griffin again just to see. Just to get over all this lava. 
Hi, honey. I know. We're just going. Oh. There we go. Gotta be ready to. Oh, are, are these pastel or am I just seeing things? Oh, maybe the purple was just like reflecting off of it. God, this bird is so big. Okay. You can tell, like, I'm really concentrating because I'm not talking that much, which is kind of... Oh, God. It's not good for a video, but... I'm trying very hard not to get stomped. Okay. Okay. This is where... Is this where I... Wait. It's saying this is... Oh, it is, because that is a Soul Sand Valley Creo. Okay. No, you, you, you. No, 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 no. Come back here. There we go. <clears throat> now, if I die, you are there. That's fine. Okay. Soul Sand Valley. Oh, much easier to navigate. <clears throat> and my voice is going again. Okay. So. Oh my god, I need soul speed. This is ridiculous. It is worth it, though. I want a horse. And some bones. Wait, my magnum torch can't possibly be reaching this far because the wither skeleton skeleton skeletons responding so yeah there's no way it's reaching this far okay oh see i see three i see hmm i think those are just fireflies i could be wrong I'm gonna keep this on my bar. What's this? Yeah, I think those are just fireflies. Um, fireflies, can you direct me in the the direction of the the pretty horses, please? Ooh, I guess I need to roll a villager with the soul speed. Oh, I see you, you big stink. Oh, I forgot about you guys. Oh. Did your mom ever teach you it's not nice to fight? I see another... Um... Whoa. Whoa. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Don't want that right now. I'm just here for the horsies. I am friends. I just want a horsey. That's all I want. Oh, you giant ball of stink. Get out of here. Ooh, what did I get? Gas here. I'm climb. Thank you, Magnet. Okay. This is painfully slow without swim the <laughs> salt speed. I can walk fine over soul soil. Oh my god, where are these? Oh, I see flames. I see not normal flames. Where is my spyglass? Oh. Oh, nether refraction's on. Hold on. Hold on. Please hold. I forget what section it's in. Um. Water? Materials? Oh my god, my brain. You'd think that I've done this a million times and I would remember where it is. There it is. Okay, that's better. Oh, that makes me woozy. Okay, I thought I saw the horse. But it was just hopeful, wishful thinking. Okay, so that's- I'm guessing that's just like a- a reskinned nether fortress. <clears throat> oh, I can't do my hops. All this? Oh, 
yeah, that's okay. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna put a waystone here. Because that is another fortress, which we're gonna need at some point. Soul, sand, fort. <laughs> That's the best we're gonna do. I mean, this is gonna be a pretty slow paced episode, but I am determined to find this horse. I need to get past that nether fortress. And I kind of want to get my bird out again. I keep calling it a bird, but I know Griffin's not actually a bird. Um, hmm. How do we do this? Should I just dig? I'm a little more a little more comfortable now that a waystone is down. How big is this? It looks quite large. So, whoa, that fortress is huge. Whoo. Okay. Okay. That's a big fortress. So I think I'm just going to dig through this. Because I want to avoid that uh, fortress for now. Because I'm still a big baby and I don't know how strong those guys are in this pack. Um, we do have our wither ring. Maybe I will put the wither ring on. Did I put the wither ring, wither ring on? I have lifesteal on this. Um... Where's the ring? It is here. So we'll replace this one for now. Just because I don't want them to get the jump on me. I hear them too. Oh, hello. Oh. You're not scary. Oh, we cut right into that fortress. Okay, well, I guess we're exploring a fortress as we go. Whoa, this is so cool. Okay, they're big babies. Okay, and I'm going to probably regret saying that very soon. Wow, but it's definitely... Um... Wow, it's definitely... Not something I'm used to, that's for sure. Wow. This is so cool. That guy just jumped down. Whoa, this is so neat looking. I love this. New things to explore. Eggs are already almost full. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, so we made a circle. Okay. I would laugh if I got a wither skeleton skull that quickly, but of course, it's probably gonna be another one of those painful moments of never finding one, but that is not what we're here for. We are here for the horse. Oh, I see you over there. Oh, you're a tough one. No, 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 don't like this. Oh, see, this is, yeah, I knew I'd regret saying that. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That's empty. I knew I'd regret saying it. Thankfully, those little pots gave me the, uh, a thingamabobs. Got rid of that. Wait, wait, I have a potion on. What am I doing? Wait, why was that guy so tough, but those guys weren't? Do I have... Huh? Whoa. So maybe I should be using... Maybe I should be using my bow more because 
that just took out the guys that took my sword or my knife a while to take down okay so i do need to do melee crit then as well so maybe i should be putting on that melee crit ring because the ranged crit oh that ranged crit was crazy because those guys all had the same health as the dude i was smacking with my knife okay 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 understandable i am figuring things out i need to make sure i put melee crit in there somewhere as well noted <laughs> I'm also going to need to take out some more torches. Yoink. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now I want to do a test. Oh. You're free, friend. <clears throat> Man, this place is wild. Okay, we've looped around. Did we go this way? No. Yes, we have. Okay. Okay. And we've been up here. Okay, so it's just as confusing as a normal fortress, just in a whole new way. I know, I know I said I was going for the horse, but I'm a little distracted now. Oh, there's it down here. Hello. Oh, we're already out of water. Oh, crap. Mr. Skelly Man was just not having it. Oh, he's running around like crazy. Okay. Who are you? Oh, goblin. Oh, what's this? Oh, goodies. At least we're getting stuff to make potions of uh, fire resistance. Whoa. Oh, you're a stinky with the stinky arrows. You come back here and take this arrow. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, I'm floating. All stuff that we can make potions with. Okay. Okay, so we came from here. I'm trying not to get lost. Oh. oh. We already have some of that from the village. So that's fine. Oh, hello, friends. Oh, bye. All right, nobody wants to play. They just want to jump. Oh, hello. Okay, so let's check your health. Okay, you're 92. So with my knife... Interesting. So my ranged crit is absolutely insane right now. Okay. Okay. So then, yeah, I definitely need to put on that melee crit ring then. For sure. Hello? Okay, note to self. Put on melee crit ring. Actually, literal note to self. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on. Okay. I put it on my little list. Ooh, you're a stinky. I put it on my uh my medieval Minecraft episode list. So we may have to look for the nightmare horse. Um, these guys, I swear. We may have to look for the Nightmare Horse next episode because we did spend a lot of this episode doing the gear stuff. Is my brightness? No. It is really hard to see. There we go. It's a little better. Hello. That wither resistance is doing a delicious amount of wonderfulness, though. Oh, uh, uh, so I'm helping my jump scared. 
Hi. Oh, step height. This is what I mean about step height. Like, I'm trying to get close enough to hit him, and it's like, oh, let's just double up. There's me a bananas. Okay, so that's fine. Lots of wither skelly boys. Man, that ring is just. Whoa! We got a skull! Let's go! I hear footsteps. Oh, I meant to hit you with my sword. What was I so scared of? We're definitely a lot beefier gear-wise, for sure. Definitely a, a, a big step up from... Like, look at this. Look at how... Yeah, this this knife is absolute doo-doo. I was really excited. I thought it was such a good knife, but apparently it's not. I definitely have to go into melee for it because the damage on it's not terrible. So I think I definitely need to feed into melee crit for sure. Or spec into melee crit, I should say. Cause that crit on my on my uh, bow is wild. I guess we're we're, I, but I don't want to do ranged right now because I need the loot drops. That kind of sucks. They take care of the wither skeletons pretty good though. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Science! It is all science, my friends. Oh, we're about to lose our fire resistance. Okay. Do I have another one on me? I don't. So maybe we'll go... Mm, I don't really want to stop exploring just to get fire resistance, though. I might have to, though, if it gets too crazy. Oh, that step up though. Good gravy. It's gonna get me killed. Hello. Oh, bye. Man, your pathing is wonky. Hi. Got a skull for me? No. Lots of loots though. Yeah, the sword is great against the wither skeletons, but holy cow. Do you have a potion in here? No. Dang it. I guess... Well, technically it is giving me the items to make the potions here. I just don't think I have any magma cream. What do I need for magma cream again? Oh, slime. Yeah, no. You are giving me stuff that I need for the rest of it. Oh, you're you're a you're a big boy. Thanks. Okay, so some of them are are chonky and some of them are not. You are chonky. Oh. Ooh. Far away for the bow. Far away for the bow. Oh, okay, they fell. <laughs> oh man, I really, you know what? I'm gonna go grab that melee crit, I think. I'm gonna go grab that melee crit. Where is my waystone? Oh, nope, they fell down again. Okay. One second, please hold. I'm gonna empty my bags and I'm actually gonna make some potions of fire resistance and I will be right back. Oh, actually, I want to show you guys this. Look at how cool the brewing stands look. Freaking cool, man. Wait. Is that doing anything? Oh, there we go. I was confused for a second. I was like, wait, you're supposed to be turning into awkward potion. There we go. So I'll show you guys this and then I'll empty my bags. Seems the brewing stands are... Oh, okay, maybe not. It's cool. If you click that, you get the recipes for the brewing too, which is nice. That's actually pretty improved from 
the other brewing stand, so that's good. There we go. Let's turn it into eight. I think we have other bottles of water. Yes, we can make a few of these. By a few, I mean like more than a few. So if you guys don't know how to make it, you put bottles of water in the bottom here. You put some blaze powder in the side. And then you use nether wart to make it into an aqua potion. And then you use a magma cream to make it into a three minute fire resistance. And then a redstone to make it into an eight minute. We'll just make six for now because I don't want to take up a ton of time doing potions. But I do want to put on that crit ring. Okay, so we'll let that brew. I'm going to empty my bags and I will actually let's grab that ring first. Which one was it? It was. Um, melee crit 180, I think. Yes. And we were going to replace the... Probably lifesteal for now. Okay, empty bags. Be right back. All right, so we're going to make some waystones. So the first thing you need to do is make an abyss watcher, which is ender pearls and flint. So we've got those. Oopsie. And then we need to make, um, actually no, we need emeralds, obsidian, and stone. So emeralds, obsidian, and stone. Plenty. All right, there we go. We've got our potions. We've got our uh, crit ring on, which is good. We're gonna do this. We got lots of torches, which is fine. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, I think that's everything. We don't need this right now. Oh, we can get rid of that and that. Those are both weapons. go man i'm definitely gonna have to go look for some more uh or the or to make the bigger the bigger boxes okay i refilled my water all right so let's go back to the fortress and let's continue our little adventure over there that is not the one i put down that's the one i put down all right let's see if this crit damage does any different Yes, it does. All right, our sword is back, baby. I know I keep calling it a sword, but you know what I mean. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and I also put my arrows back like, oh no, my arrows. <laughs> I have my arrows back. Oh no, my obsidian arrows. Hold on, hold on. Um, arrows. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. All right, let's try this again. Wait, all my water's gone already? What the heck? But I just filled this up. Oh my God. What is happening? Why, why? Here we go. Okay, we're good. Now where were we? Where's the blaze? So I noticed in the patch notes it said that it reduced the dungeon loot in the overworld to encourage people to go to the nether. So the nether definitely has some good loot. That is for sure. 
Oh, I hear more stinkies. Where's the blaze spawner? Oh, there's more goodies over here. Oh yeah, that melee crit really made a difference. Let's go. Here are you. Take oh, this guy's, wait. Oh, I guess the other guys just weren't the big dudes. Uh-oh. Look at his arms up. Okay, so some of them are beefy, some of them aren't. Okay, noted. Oh, there's a lot of holes in the floor, that's for sure. I'm glad we, we took a little detour. That uh, wither ring is coming in clutch for sure, though. jump let's work with this oh he is beefy still getting better range though much better ranged much better ranged Definitely a lot of trial and error, for sure. Woo! Magma cream! Hello! It kinda sucks though, because I can't get looting on my bow. Definitely gonna have to figure out a little farm for those guys. I don't know if um, there are spawners for... Wow, my range damage is just still significantly so much better. I think it's also because it's on my gear as well. Which is weird because I'm a knight, so you figure I'd do more damage with a sword. Or maybe I need to make an actual sword and not a knife. Although I didn't make this knife, I found this knife, but you know what I mean. There's an up this way. Hello. Whoa. Now there has to be a spawner somewhere because I hear them spawning in. Is it up or is it down? Oh my god, look at all the wither skeletons. This is wild. Maybe I shouldn't be lighting it up because this is going to be a good chunk for a spawn. Is it a whole chunk? Let's see. Oh, wait, I hear a skeleton. Is this? Oh, it's a bunch of chunks. OK. I'd like to find that wither spawner or wither spawner, the blaze spawner, though. Hello? How does one get up to see if the spawner is there? Hmm. Much confusion. skull 
even though I didn't use looting. All right, cool. Hi. Ooh, what do you got? Oh, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Thank you. Definitely going to be keeping him because he has some goodies that I want. The other goblins haven't really been seen because the original like config only spawns them when you're mining from what I can see. So I might actually change their Y level so I can at least see them. Definitely not as high as I had them in better Minecraft, that's for sure, but uh, not as frequent. But what I'll do is I'll probably change their um, their Y level and turn up their spawning frequency. Like no, up, down, down, I guess it'd be down. Turn down their spawning frequency because they're going to be spawning at every Y level. That way they're not as crazy uh, frequent. Is this? The one I've already been to. And all those items just burnt. And this is the one I've already been to. Hmm. I am determined to find that spawner. But I do not know how to get up there. And I'm assuming it's up. Yeah, because you hear them? They're up there. Where are you guys? There's those two, but I swear it sounds like there's a spawner somewhere. This place is so confusing. Whoa. What's this one? Fire resistance. Ooh, what's oopsie. Um, attack damage, poison resistance, fire resistance, strength, dexterity. You know what? We'll put this one on because we're not getting poisoned here. We're getting withered. So that will help us with our fire resistance. So I see more over there. Man, this is a uh, very confusing. So they might be down. If there's this, it might be like the spawner downstairs because I don't see as many of them up here, and it kind of like ca it caps off up here. Yeah. So they must be down then. Stop ducking. Oh, this place looks so cool. Oh. Oh, I just saw like a boss tag. Oh, step up is literally going to get me killed. many withers or skeletons I mean okay so this is a different section hmm. 
Oh. Oh, step up, please. Whoa. Much hallway. Oh, bags are full. What's this? Two-handed claymore. Iron mace. Huh. Okay. I'll explore this a little bit longer because I've been recording for quite a while. Oh boy, I guess we gotta go down. This is wild. I don't think I've ever seen another fortress. Like, in better Minecraft there was some pretty cool ones, but uh... This is definitely new. This must be like um, repurposed structures or something. There's a regenerating wither skeleton over there somewhere. You guys can see when I run my mouse over it. Where to go? Where to go? Whoa! Why did my escape menu just open? I didn't even hit escape. That's creepy. I'm wondering if there's like a button on my mouse that's doing it. No? That's weird. Hey, where is that regenerating wither skeleton? Where are you at? I ran my mouse over here and it showed him over here somewhere. Step up. I swear. Where is he? Hmm. I hear a wither skeleton. on him. Hello? Where are you, Mr. Wither Skellington? That's not you either. Huh. There's one there. That's not him. Can I shoot this guy from up here? Let's see. Ooh, nice shot. Look at that. Oh, okay. I guess I can't shoot over that. What? How is that? Look at this. Look at where my reticle is or my crosshair or whatever. Look at, wait, <laughs> that's so stupid. It's like seven days to die hitboxes. What is happening? My goodness. Oh, okay. We found a floor we haven't been on yet. I hear more, more skelly boys. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, I see you. Do I need to go up? Step up's like, yes, yes, up, 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 up. <laughs> we send you up. Whoa. Okay, so now I'm just genuinely confused. Like, what? Pip. I don't understand. 
Ooh, I've gotten two wither skeleton skulls though. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Where's that big boss man that we saw? Oh, can I hit him? Nope. Man, they blend in so well. slowness whoa what the heck was that guy what the heck was that guy whoa what was that guy he was shooting like supersonic arrows at me giving me slowness Now I don't remember how I got up there. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This place is gonna take a lot longer than I thought, so we'll definitely have to complete it in the next episode and look for Nightmare as well, because I want that horse. So I will see you next time and I hope you all have an awesome week. Take care and goodbye.